I've got something really exciting today. I want to talk to you about computer vision on Azure. Now, this lets us show Azure any image and get its understanding of what's in that image. But not only that, the objects that are present, the brands that may be present, the dominant colors, uh, whether or not there's any adult content, the list goes on. I'm going to take a look at this with you and we'll take a look at the C sharp code that you need to do this. And it really isn't too much. So let's get started. All right, here I am in Dog OS or Doggos, as I like to call it. This is a sample app I made in order to show off Azure Cognitive Services and its capabilities. So I'm going to show you computer vision, which is a way of showing Azure any image that you provide and getting its pre-trained models opinions on it. So I had a lovely trip to the USS Midway Museum some years ago. And here's an image I took of the Command Information Center, or the CIC, and I see uh, in my app, I get back all sorts of information. Well, my app got this from Azure Cognitive Services and from Computer Vision. So it says, hey, this is a room with a with computers and chairs. Well, that's pretty accurate. Uh, it says uh, this image does not look to take in any, uh, it doesn't have any adult information, anything racy, anything gory. And it's fairly certain about that with, uh, you know, less than 1% uh, chance. It looks at the dominant colors in the image and it says, hey, this is the accent color I detected, which I am rendering here. Uh, and then I've got white, black, and blue. And there, if there are more uh, colors that it could detect in there, uh, those would be listed here as well. Now, tags is where it gets really interesting because it's like anything that we think is in this image uh, and it's anything that, that Azure has been trained to recognize. And so here we see this is indoors. We see some machinery, some furniture, table, ceiling, floor, room. Uh, pretty high confidence on these as well. So lowest one is 64.83%. Categories, there's about like 83 to 86 or so uh, different unique categories uh, for each individual uh, type of image. This one is both in the others and the outdoor category with kind of low confidence on each. Azure's not quite sure which, conf uh, which, which bucket to put it in, so it's listing a couple major ones. Now, object detection can detect uh, different things in your image. In this case, it found three chairs. A little harder to see with the blue here, but it found those three uh, three images. And this last sentence here, that's that's uh, my application being silly. Uh, but let's take a, a look at a different image. Okay, so here is an image of me holding my puppy when he was about eight days old. I couldn't bring him home yet, but I could hold him. And so there's, uh, there's little Jester. And we can see we've got, you know, a different bit of thing, a man holding a small animal. Couldn't even tell it was dog. Uh, <laughs> this one, yeah, it's not so sure about this. It thinks, hey, it, it probably is fine, but, you know, it might be an alternate, you know, it might be a little racy. Uh, probably having to do with where I'm holding the dog and, you know, it's just not trained on very small animals. Uh, <laughs> it does say there's a 53% chance my dog is a polecat. Um, so, you know, it, it, your images are only as good as, as what you've trained your models on. But the good thing here is that Am uh, Azure's uh, computer vision models have been trained on a lot of stuff. So you will find little things like this where it gets it a little wrong, uh, but it generally does a pretty good job. So let's try another one and then we'll get into the code. All right. So this was a Halloween costume of mine a number of years ago. I really, really like what Azure does with this one. So let's take a look at it. And we could see a person wearing a garment, not adult or anything like that. We get some good colors and we get some good tags here. Uh, category here is people group. Well, there's only one person, but it thinks it's a group picture. So I, I can't uh, uh, object to that. And then we have some, some objects detected here. So we see we've got the person here. Uh, we've got a clock detected in the background. Luggage and bags are detected a couple times because we have a couple pieces of luggage around. Uh, and then some chairs laying around. So for each object that's, that's detected, we actually get a bounding box of where it is in the image. And I've written some code to sort of draw that uh, onto the image. So you can see that a little bit here. So that's what's going on with, uh, with computer vision. This is my application to help us look at that data in a little bit more of a graphical way. But let's take a look at the C-sharp code you need to do this. So here I am in uh, Visual Studio 2022. I'm taking a look at my uh, my project. I'm going to link, by the way, to this repository so you can take a look at this yourself. Um, but I have this demo image analyzer class that just takes in a subscription key and an endpoint. The subscription key is going to be your 
uh, key, either your key one or your key two from your Azure Cognitive Services resource or from a computer vision resource, either one will work. And the endpoint is going to be from that keys and endpoint pane in, in Azure uh, for either Azure Cognitive Services or the computer vision resource. And those are the two things you really need. You also need to have a uh, NuGet package reference to Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services Vision and then Computer Vision, and then these two using statements to get at the, uh, the things in those namespaces. But once you do that, you can create this API key service client credentials, give it your subscription key, then you create a computer vision client, you tell it what endpoint to connect to, and then boom, you're ready to go. Okay, So here I've got a method, and this method is going to be very long and ugly, uh, but this method takes in a path to an image on my hard drive, and it returns a list of strings indicating things that we've seen. Um, the first thing I want to point out is that the, the message that we send to Azure through the computer vision client is analyze image in stream async. Okay, So we are asynchronous uh, with Azure Cognitive Services. Um, this stuff can take a, a while to process, especially if you have a lot of Im uh, objects in your image and you're doing an object detection there. But here, I'm saying, hey, I want to analyze the image in the image stream. Uh, so I'm actually giving it a, a stream object to look at. So in this case, I'm, I'm reading this particular file. I'm grabbing the bytes and I'm passing them on to Azure in an array. However, I could also give Azure an, uh, a URL to an image that's out there on the web, as long as it's publicly accessible. Okay, So that's pretty cool. The second thing I need to do is I need to tell it what I care about. So I need to tell Azure what feature types I, I want. So here I'm telling it I want to know about the categories, the description, the types of images, the tags, the objects. Um, I could also add in visual feature types. I forgot my comma up here. So I can say, hey, give me my colors as well. I could take a look at this and say, give me my brand. I can get a lot more information. Um, but keep in mind, whichever ones you want of these, it does increase the price of each uh, of each request by a little bit uh, because these are all different uh, operations we're doing on Azure. But the nice thing is we're only doing them through one API call, so it's we're not paying the communication costs a lot uh, to send the image back and forth and, and all that good stuff. Okay, so we get back this image analysis result and this image analysis object. It just has a lot of stuff on it. So if we look at the image analysis, we got adults. The model version, which is just, hey, what, what did it use? The ID of my request. Uh, and then we have collections of information about the description, color information, uh, content moderation with adult and whatnot, uh, brand information, categories, color information. You know, there's a lot of stuff. Faces, yeah, we used to have a lot more access to faces than we do now. That's uh, gone away over the last couple of years as uh, Microsoft realized the potential for misuse with this facial information data. Uh, but we still have a lot present here. So you can take a look at this. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple examples of working with this stuff. So here is an example of uh, the captions in an image. So we can get the image analysis results, and we're looking over the uh, description and the captions. And each image caption, it, well, it's, it's got a text and it's got a confidence score. This confidence score is represented as a percentage between 0 and 1, with 1 being 100%. Right? So I'm just writing out the confidence that this uh, caption is accurate. Now, typically, I only see a single uh, caption coming back. Uh, however, Microsoft is unveiling uh, dense captioning in the future, so we might start getting back uh, more captions than just the first one once the V4 API becomes public and we, we start working with that. Uh, vision categories. So here we're looking at the categories. These are, you know about 38, 36, something like that, uh, different categories. Uh, we can list the name of the category, very similar to, to looking at the, um, the captions, but you don't have to drill into the object as much. We're just looping over categories. Vision objects. This is where it gets a little weird. Okay, So with vision objects, we are looping over the objects, and we have a detected object. And each detected object actually has a bounding rack. This is a rectangle with an X, a Y, a width, and a height. And it tells us where in that image this, this thing actually is. Uh, object property is basically what we found in that image. Um, and we can just print out like where exactly that was. Now, this is a little harder to read, which is why I've written some code that just 
writes it to another image file and overlays it on top of the original image. Um, again, the code is going to be available in the description if you want to play around with that. Uh, I have some compted out code here for hierarchical information. Uh, it is technically possible according to the object model for things to be nested inside of other things. In practice, I haven't seen that really uh, take hold, so I have this code commented out, uh, but that might be something that changes as the API evolves. Uh, vision tags. Vision tags are nice and easy. We're just here looping over our collection of tags, and we're just writing out the name of the tag and the confidence. And as you're probably noticing, most of these results the objects might be slightly different, the properties might be slightly different, but most of the time you're looping over collection and it's got a name and it's got a confidence score between zero and one. And that's really all you're dealing with, right? So you're gonna make a single call out to Azure Cognitive Services with this analyze image in stream or analyze image. Let's just take a look at the overloads here now, shall we? Yeah, there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of them. Um, so analyze the image with HTTP message is a is a good one to look at. Uh, this one, I believe you can specify, yeah, the, this one takes in a URL. So you will give it the URL of the image you want to look at. So if you want to do it like that, you can absolutely do it like that. We don't have any synchronous uh, APIs here. So keep that in mind. You're going to be forced to using uh, the async pattern, but that's not such a bad thing anyway. Okay, uh, so that is you know, Azure Cognitive Services with uh, computer vision. Uh, we went a little long here on this video, but I hope it was helpful. Take a look at the code. If you have specific questions, let me know. I'd really be happy to talk to you about this and see what I can do to help you. I think it's really cool that we can use Microsoft's pre-trained models and just get a lot of insight out of that into the images we provide. Now, if you need a little bit more than that, you can go into custom vision where you can actually train your own uh, computer vision models on Azure, but you have to provide all the training images yourself, which is a lot more work. Okay? But that can help you with things like if you wanted to train a model to do, you know, rock, paper, scissors, uh, lizard, Spock, I suppose. Uh, you, but you have to provide all those training images to Azure. Uh, anywho, I hope you enjoyed and happy coding and let me know what you think.